Representative Hudson to seek uh, recognition. I move to strike the last word, Mr. Chairman. The gentleman is recognized for five minutes, please. Well, thank you. And uh, I want to begin by thanking all my colleagues who worked tirelessly to address the PFAS contamination in water systems across the United States. Like many of you here today, my district is no stranger to these forever chemicals. For years, my constituents and neighboring communities in North Carolina have dealt with contamination from the PFAS chemical Gen X. Gen X has been discharged for decades into the air as well as the waters of the Cape Fear River a common source of drinking water for a large swath of Eastern North Carolina. These chemicals are known to cause health complications and people in our community deserve answers. In 2019, I had the EPA come to Fayetteville for a public forum to hear directly from our community. I also invited Administrator Regan, who at the time was the Secretary of the North Carolina Department of Environmental Quality, and uh, I was pleased he was able to attend. Hundreds of people attended, and many shared their concerns with potential links between Gen X and serious health problems. Several of the people who testified that day were concerned about family members and neighbors who have contracted cancer and were concerned it might be connected to Gen X. The problem is we just don't know. Put it simply, my constituents are scared and they're frustrated because this has been an ongoing issue and they don't have enough information. I've demanded the EPA provide us with a toxicology report on Gen X, and I'm still waiting. This is about getting answers for our community. This is about making sure my constituents are protected and the water we're drinking is safe. When I helped overhaul the Toxic Substance Control Act, I wanted to ensure that we hold companies accountable on PFAS. I was disappointed last year when the EPA denied a petition under the TSCA uh, to require human health and environmental testing on 54 PFAS substances linked to the Cape Fear River and other water systems in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Until I know the science behind Gen X, until I know exactly what safe levels and unsafe levels of exposure are, and until we can adequately clean up the exposure we've had in North Carolina, I'm not going to be satisfied. These families and families everywhere deserve to know the streams, rivers, and lakes where we get our drinking water, take our kids, uh, are safe. I want to echo the sentiment expressed by Ranking Member McKinley uh, when he asked our Democrat colleagues to work with us uh, on solutions based on solid scientific data. If we're serious about these proposals becoming law, they need a full and fair airing with a complete legislative history and record. And so I am disappointed, Mr. Chairman, as other of my colleagues have expressed that we didn't have a hearing on this bill. Uh, I heard the chairman of the full committee address this issue. We did have hearings two years ago, um, but with a new administration, with new members of this subcommittee and a new EPA administrator who understands this issue very well, I believe we would have benefited had we held legislative hearing to address the many provisions in this bill, uh, as well as to hear directly from administ the administrator um, what his approach will be and, and to see if it will be different from the previous administration. In fact, I, th I think there might have been changes that we would want to make to this legislation to improve it based on the information we could gain by having a hearing uh, and by hearing directly from the administrator. Um, I know we all want to make sure our water is clean and safe. However, we need to be cautious of the policy pendulum swinging so far that it ends up hurting the communities we're trying to help. And so, Mr. Chairman, um, I appreciate the opportunity. We've had to work together on this. I hope that we can continue to work together uh, to perfect this process and continue to pressure the EPA to, to deliver the scientific data that, uh, that our communities need so that we can feel safe and secure about our drinking water. So thank you, and with that, I'll yield back. The uh, gentleman yields back and 